Mammoth Hot Springs is broken up into two different areas. You have the upper terrace and the lower terrace. And we decided to start our journey with the upper terrace. You can drive through this if you like, but you just don't really see anything of Mammoth Hot Springs. So we recommend you get out of the car and see what this place is about. It's beautiful. Travertine terraces are formed from limestone, calcium yeah. carbonate. Water rises through the limestone, carrying high amounts of dissolved calcium carbonate. At the surface, carbon dioxide is released and calcium carbonate is deposited, forming travertine, the chalky white rock of the terraces. Due to the rapid rate of deposition, these features constantly and quickly change. This is the Canary Spring. It is a smaller spring in the upper terrace, and it is named Canary Spring because it is bright yellow in color due to the high amount of sulfur dependent filamentous bacteria that live on the travertine deposits surrounding it. This is probably one of my favorite springs. Mammoth Hot Springs is the home of the first major entrance into Yellowstone at its north boundary. It is the Roosevelt Arch. Due to its year-round access and comparatively mild winters, Mammoth has always been the headquarters for Yellowstone National Park. If you're itching to see some elk during your visit, Mammoth Hot Springs is known to have elk roaming around. If you're wondering if you can swim in any of these hot springs, you actually can at Boiling River Swim Area north of Mammoth Hot Springs. It is open in daylight hours and closed during times of high water. In the surrounding mountains, rain and snow soak through the ground. The water is heated below the surface. As it rises, it dissolves the limestone rock that lies beneath the Mammoth area. Sometimes the water is concentrated in a few springs, while at other times it may spread across many outlets. In every case, water follows the path of least resistance, which could be above ground or underground. Scientists estimate that at any given time, about 10% of the water in the Mammoth Hot Springs system is on the surface, and the other 90% is underground. Liberty Cap is a dormant hot spring zone and was named Liberty Cap in 1871 by the Hayden Survey because it resembles the peaked knit caps symbolizing freedom and liberty during the French Revolution. <laughs> Neat seeing the light in the middle of that, huh? Untouched by water. Bird out there. I really wish we had our GoPro 10 during this trip. Could not quite make the color right with the DJI camera that we were working with. Really tried to make this pop out like it did when we were there in person. But 
still beautiful. The way this dead tree twists around made it absolutely stunning to us. Fun fact about Mound Terrace, it was inactive for decades but began flowing again recently. Its weather travertine shows new patterns where chunks of soft rock have broken or fallen. 